Welcome to the Media Minute Roundtable. For this edition, we're talking about Christopher Plummer, a few new trailers, including Cosmic Sin and Coming to America 2, and also we're going to be talking about some of our sci-fi favorites. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Vasquezki. And I'm Rachel Edge. And uh, we're back for another episode. It's, uh, well, it's minus 40 here where we're filming today, so we're all trying to yeah. uh, stay warm. Um, some unfortunate news happened over the weekend. Uh, mm-hmm. Canadian actor Christopher Plummer passed away. Yeah. I mean, he was like 91. He was 91, 91. yeah. He definitely lived a good life, but it's still like a good a, run. A definitely a big hit in the acting for sure he actually has the triple crown of acting he won an oscar an emmy and a tony what yeah which not very many people have done and he was the bad guy in up for sure so yeah i always forget actually if you look at his his credits he's done like he also did the voice for the video game version of up apparently oh did he (laughs) yeah nice uh yeah he was 91 when he passed away he was born in toronto uh kind of a contemporary of william shatner actually like both of them kind of did like the same initial acting stuff on the way uh you know both of them kind of got their start in like shakespeare and everything and of course uh my favorite performance by him, he was General Chang in Star Trek VI, The Voyage Home, where he's oh, yeah. that Klingon that's constantly uh, quoting uh, Shakespeare. <laughs> that's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite line from that movie is like, you, you haven't read Hamlet unless you read it in the original Klingon or something like that. <laughs> I, I don't think he <laughs> nice. did that line, but uh, which makes no sense, the original Klingon. But anyway, yeah, it was a sad loss. Like he that's was a, a big name Canadian actor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, awesome. he was in Sound of Music, was he not? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, he hated that movie. Did he actually? <laughs> Apparently. Oh. oh. He, uh, he had, like, uh, what did he call it? There's a... Oh, I should have wrote this down. But yeah, he had, like, nicknames just mocking the oh. Sound of like Music. Like the, the kids and stuff? Yeah, they called it, like, S&M, Sound of Music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, okay. that's there, something I didn't know. Yeah, there's another one, too, but I can't remember. What. Speaking oh. of people who seem to oh. hate to be in film... Uh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, hey. yes. Not Bruce Campbell, Bruce Willis. Yes. Yes. Got to make sure we got our Bruce's right. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, yeah uh, a trailer dropped for something called Cosmic Sin. I actually rewatched the trailer this morning because I still have no idea what the movie is oh, right? actually about. Like, in yeah, the trailer, I, I think they paid Bruce, like, the exact amount of money for him to show up <laughs> and that's about it like he's very low energy yeah, from what I yeah see. i've watched the trailer too and again yeah i i i have no idea what the movie's about i think i yeah. kind of pieced it together there's Which, something about aliens a yeah, dimensional like he's portal like, he's or like something like an old general that got like forceful forcibly retired or yeah, something. It's, yeah it's the old and like that, commando thing it's yeah. like i've been retired for years and then someone well, comes into the bar like, we're calling you back to like, action we need your help because you're the only guy who can handle this and yeah. it's like okay but it's bruce willis like do you really yeah you kind of know what you're getting yeah, yeah. so like which, i don't know which i kind of don't mind because trailers nowadays for the most part you don't even need to see the movie they're they're yeah. long now like trailers are now because i mean everything used to be kind of 30 second or one minute yeah, tv like, spot but trailers are now like two move two minutes it's like well yeah. which gives away a lot yeah i don't need to see that because i just did well that's kind of yeah. how i feel about like the godzilla versus kong trailer it's like okay cool they're gonna fight and it's gonna be epic and uh that's it yeah, <laughs> yep. like, yeah. right and like this one like see it. it's like i want to see it just because i'm curious but i'm also like do i really want to watch a grumpy bruce willis just do Bruce Willis things. Well, I mean, it's, that's that's generally Bruce Willis. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys, Kevin Smith worked with him on a couple of films, and like he's done oh, cool. a couple of talks about working with Bruce Willis. And uh, oh, apparently it was a nightmare. Yeah, apparently it was a bit of a bit of a. Oh, nightmare. really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. disappointing. I think Bruce thinks that he kind of knows everything about like movies and acting and stuff. And, oh, not one <laughs> yeah. of those. Yeah, I, I think so. So, but well, I mean, he's been around for like what forty or fifty years now. So. Oh yeah. yeah, at least. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, Cosmic. In. <laughs> yeah, coming yeah. out it's um yeah like yeah <laughs> maybe if say? it ends up on netflix might watch it type yeah, thing if i'm yeah. in like an armageddon kind of mood yeah oh yeah definitely yeah this is one of my guilty pleasures armageddon yeah yeah that's a good movie that's a, that's a good one for sure. yeah. I'll, I'll see it in public oh yeah yeah um like michael bay a lot of people didn't like it though yeah um Next up, this one is is so strange to talk about. Uh, the Canadian horror movie, sci-fi movie Cube, yeah. Uh, yeah. came out well, about twenty years ago, I guess. Now probably nineties. Uh, yeah. So that's like thirty years. Uh, it's being remade for Japan. 
I won't lie, I kind of Damn, feel like that's crazy. a win for Canadian movies because like yeah. how many like uh Japanese horror movies or like any kind of Japanese movie has come over yeah. to like Western, but it's like you never hear about it the other way. So like knowing it's Canadian, I'm kind of sitting here like booyah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely is usually the other way around. Oh yeah, yeah. and usually it ends up terrible. Yeah, like there's very few like yeah, you, Western adaptions. I, I, I find well. the Japanese versions are yes. usually, you know, they, they have their own tone and everything. Yeah. There's no Hollywood kind of interference and yeah, people exactly. in suits making decisions about filmmaking, which has been a plague for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the, the original Cube is good. I like. Yeah, that. I mean, a so. lot of people, if you look at like their top horror movies, Cube ends up. I haven't seen it myself. Like I've seen people oh, no? do reviews and stuff, but. Um, yeah, a lot of people really like it, and uh, it's kind of got a cult following. So it's enough for like the Japanese to do their own take on it, which, like I said, it's pretty pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm I'm a uh, confident it's in good hands. I'm yeah. kind of curious on who the director is, like the, yeah, that's taking sure. it yeah, on. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that because if it's uh, Takashi Miike, I'm. Yeah, cool. Mike is uh, big uh, with horror. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's him because I'm pretty sure I'd know about that. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, but like but, I'm just saying, like, he's one of the best directors yeah, give it from to, Japan for sure. Yeah, so if give you, it to Mike for sure. Like, whoo, yeah. that'd be cool. That'd yeah. be amazing. Audition, check it out for sure. <laughs> um, well, this one's, uh, I feel like I'm talking about like a lot of like reboots and sequels yeah. to movies that came out in the 80s. <laughs> Coming to America 2 with Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I don't know. And Arsenio Hall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah there's nothing sacred <laughs> yeah they got james they pulled james earl jones out as well yeah 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 like it sounds like a lot of the original cast is coming back like wesley snipes oh, is sure. back eddie, like Mur it, yeah. eddie murphy i was about to call him eddie mercury i'm like that's not right <laughs> <laughs> eddie mercury would be amazing oh. oh sorry yeah. my bad that was a weird the, mashup but um yeah like a lot of the original actors are coming back like so i'm kind of curious to see but i'm also like I was worried, I won't lie, like watching the trailer, I was like, oh my God, is he just literally coming back to America? And then it's like in the trailer, it's like actually they're taking his son that he had no idea about like back to the kingdom. And I'm kind yeah. of like, oh, okay, maybe. Like that's a solid maybe from me then. I was just worried it was just going to be the same thing over yeah. and over again. Yeah, he, he goes and it's like, oh, what's new with America this yeah. time? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not on board. Uh, yeah. I, I love the, the original as a kid. Yeah. I, again, if it ends up on a streaming service, you know, maybe. Yeah. If it's, we'll watch it. if it's 40 below out and you need something to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Speaking of old movies, there is a movie called Old. I am so out. excited. Yeah. It's, it's M. Night. Boy. That's my boy. Yeah. That's my boy. I'm so excited. Someone's an M. Night fan. Uh, yes. Well, he's the whole reason I actually got into film. Like, I really? Fell, yeah, I fell in love with um, hmm. The Village. was like one of the first ones that I watched. I know it's controversial, Yeah. but Lady in the Water is probably one of my favorite films ever. I, I have trash. no problem admitting that. No, oh, I, shut up. That um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, like, I, I love the way he wrote and I love the way that, like, he portrayed stories and everything like that so i was just like all like any kind of movie except i will admit he definitely messed up like the last airbender yeah that was bad that, that was will really smith bad. movie last earth or uh no was... La last airbender was a live action version yeah. of oh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cartoon um, and i don't think i've ever seen a well, fandom so the pissed smith off the will smith was him and his kid that was uh, that was last earth but that wasn't i don't think that was m night yeah yeah was it yeah oh hate to break it to you <laughs> I'm gonna more so yeah. blame that on he, Jaden he's, Smith. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's hit or miss. Yeah, he is. Like he has. When like, he misses, he misses. Yeah, but when yeah. he hits, he a hits. After Earth. Mm -hmm. after no, Earth are you kidding me? So. Signs. Signs was a classic. No. So was Sixth Sense. You cannot Sixth deny Sense that. Good. Yeah. Village was decent. I love the Village. Signs. Eh, it was okay. The water thing was yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. I remember like generally liking Signs, but yeah. like yeah, but the whole water. Yeah. It's like the, the most common element on. Yeah. Spoiler alert, is... by the way, if you've never seen this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm excited. I When I was watching the trailer, I was kind of like curious because I guess it's actually based off of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a French graphic novel. He actually fell in love with it and he was like, I want to make a movie out of this because this is really cool. Yeah. And um, they actually have some up and coming stars in it as well. So I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, the, the dude from, um, oh, what was it? Uh, Hereditary. Is it? Yep. Yep, like the the, bro the big brother. Him. I cannot remember his name, and I'm so sorry. I, I don't either. Yeah. But yeah, no, it looks really good. I'm I'm curious, and I'm really hoping this is like on the upward swing for him because mm -hmm. I feel like he he's had a few definite misses, and he needs a he needs a he needs a up. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely give it a chance for sure. Absolutely. What was that one movie he ghost wrote? It was that like '90s. It had Freddie Prince Jr. in it. 
It was, oh. uh, was she's all that. Yeah, I think so. Or it's like, it's like, hey, let's take this super hot nerdy girl and just take her glasses off. And oh, it's yeah. Like, Whoa. yeah. Cla- but a classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugly duckling kind of thing. Yeah, classic ghost wrote that, I think. Yeah. Actually, you know what? The one that blew my mind that he wrote with that was like a children's classic was Stuart Little. Yep. He, he actually wrote it. And I was like, huh. I didn't, I didn't realize that until like I was watching it, and then it was like, right, written by M Night Shyamalan. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't expect that. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact. Well, it might might end up being a classic. Yeah. Speaking of classics, yeah. uh, let's talk about our favorite sci-fi movies. Ooh, let's I'm do it. Excited. And this is. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Sorry. Oh, wait. Space Sweepers. Yes. Have you seen it? I watched it last night. Oh, oh you did? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I watched it as well. What'd you yeah. think? Oh, I missed I it. it. Yeah, it was. A lot more. So we should probably say what this movie is. Yeah, yeah. It says a uh, uh, Netflix movie, Korean um, sci fi. Basically, a, uh, I don't know, how is it? It's a, a motley crew of uh, space scavengers. Yeah, it's uh, they do like space cleanup. And um, then they. Very fly. international cast as well. Like yeah, they, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of. Uh, I mean, most of it was subtitled, yeah. but not all of it. So I uh, find the subtitles. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going with that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then they find a little girl who turns out to be a massively destructive bomb. Yeah. And then they fall and in love with her, and then it's all, it's a lot more lighthearted than I expected. It, it is. It's kind of a um, uh, crew of misfits. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, a lot of people have uh, compared it to the anime Cowboy Bebop. Uh, I could see that. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I generally liked it. Um like I said, it, it's nice to see like something you know from outside North America, like their take on stuff. Yeah, South um, Korea has just been the movies. They, like that's not con- like always, but when you get like a big movie coming out of Korea, yeah, it's always good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, I, I like the whole because that is kind of a real issue. Like they they are concerned about like space junk, like yeah. hitting stuff and just causing more space junk. Um, there's actually an anime where they address that as well called Planets, which I highly recommend uh, mm-hmm. because that's what it's about, them cleaning up kind of outer space. But, yeah, this is kind of a fun romp. It's a misadventure, yeah. I, I think. Um, uh, the editing was amazing. It was, yeah. They, they crushed it on that. And the sound, too. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, no, check it out on Netflix. I think it dropped like a couple days ago. And, uh, yeah, that's that's sci-fi. So we'll, yeah. we're going to continue yeah, the sci-fi it's theme. It's definitely a vibe today, for yeah, sure. <laughs> with our uh, sci- it's 40 below sci-fi hours. favorites. We got to, yeah, think of, it's cold in outer space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, who, who do you have for your, your first movie? All right. I tried to stay away from the typical and obvious answers, like 2001, yeah. Planet of the Apes, Star Wars. I, I went a little basic, I do have to admit. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that my picks aren't weren't huge hits but maybe a little on a fringe yeah i don't know well i'll yeah. let you guys decide that's okay uh first one total recall yes nice okay total are we talking recall. the original or the remake oh yeah there was a remake yeah, yeah he, was he forgot about the remake yeah, so yeah. The original. Arnold, yeah okay. selective memory yeah okay i mean that's fair <laughs> yeah total recall arnold schwarzenegger uh yeah. verhoeven yeah yeah to good houses yeah fun fact i did a little research <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Swayze was originally signed on. <gasps> really? For it's like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's role. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> that's so strange to me. I mean, the main character in Interesting. Total Recall is supposed to yeah, be Quaid. kind of an everyman, though. Yeah. Like, like, well, well, he was originally supposed to be like an accountant type. Yeah. And, and I think Arnold he, Schwarzenegger was like, can we just make him like a dude, just like an everyday man? Yeah. And Paul Verhoeven was like, wait, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the guy that was like, yeah, let's make him an everyday man? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's cool. Um, based on a, I think a Philip K. Dip, uh, Philip K. Dick novella, I believe. Uh, I think. I think he, yeah. I th- didn't yeah. see anything on that. Uh, I think the original story was like we recall your memories or something at a discount or something like that. Like the title of the the novella novella oh, okay. was completely different. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, solid choice for sure. And but uh, one, actually, one thing the the two dudes who uh, wrote the script started writing it in the seventies. Yep. Oh, and then decided that it would probably be too expensive to film. So one of the writers wrote Alien in the meantime. Yes. Wait, hold on. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Dang, okay. And uh, also, 
It took five, 500 people worked on the film, built on 45 sets spanning eight sound stages that occupied that space for six months. At the time, it was the second most expensive film in history next to Rambo 3. Wow. <laughs> what? I didn't know Rambo 3 was that expensive. Man. Yeah, I didn't, didn't but, think so. Wow, yeah. okay. But uh, And uh, did you know uh, Arnold was supposed to play RoboCop? Oh, I, I could see them like that's thinking about him for a Robocop. And then he, Paul Verhoeven, who also yeah. directed, yeah. he's Arnold saw Robocop. He's like, oh man, I got to work with this guy. Hence, Total Recall. Yeah. Oh, cool. Because so yeah, he passed up on Verhoeven Robocop. has like an interesting filmography. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Showgirls. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen it. Don't don't lie. I, I mean, for me, Starship Trooper is for, yeah. uh, oh, Starship for, Trooper. for his great. film. It, I, it didn't make my, my list, but I still, still love Starship Troopers. That's definitely an honorable Troopers. mention, though. <laughs> Wild yeah. Things? Yeah, yeah. she's that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was the kid's book, wasn't it? Wild New, Things? Uh, no, no. Or was this a different that, thing? Yeah. Oh, I'm this thinking where the wild, wild things, things are. are. <laughs> there we go. I haven't had my coffee, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not a kid's movie. Wild no. Things. No, no, I don't think any of her open's movies are kid's movies. No, no. Uh, yeah, good choice. Yeah, good that's, choice. Uh, that's all I got for that. Cool. Rachel? Well, um, I'm going to follow up with another classic. Again, I kind of steered away from the franchises because I feel like everybody knows Star Wars, Star Trek, all those oh, kind good, of... Oh, good, because I got a know, couple franchise movies. Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, like... Um, I'm not, I'm not giving any hate to that. It's just I felt like the yeah. one-offs needed a little bit more love. And um, it's kind of a franchise, but not really. But Blade Runner. Yes. Definitely. Nice. I yeah, think nice. that's like one of the most iconic Also, I think originally sure. a Philip K. Dick novel. Yeah. 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 Uh, was it uh, The Electric Sheep? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do Android stream of Electric Sheep. Yeah. And like, I really like, even just watching the movie now, it's like you still get sucked into that universe. And you're yeah. still like super like just into it. And you're like, wow. Well, it's so that, that's that great scene with uh, Redgar Hauer. Yes. Where he's talking about like the tears in the rain oh scene. God, that's yeah. like one yeah. of the most classic uh, oh, he, sci-fi oh, scenes it, it, ever. Like, I remember watching it for the first time and like and seeing that like go down. And I just remember sitting there and my dad and my mom kind of laughed at me a little bit because they were watching with me. Yeah. And they're like, you couldn't pick like I couldn't pick my jaw off off the floor because I was just like, this guy can act like, oh, my God. And and like, yeah, just I can watch that over and over again and get sucked into that universe and just be just there. So yeah. it's like awesome. It, it's uh, visually like, yeah. oh, you yeah, know, like the downtown Absolutely. streets, the rain. It's yeah. it's what a lot of people think of when they think of uh, kind of cyberpunk. Yes, uh, definitely. You know, in terms of the aesthetic. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, very, very yeah. good classic. I good choice. It. Thank All you. Right. Who's going to who's going to oh, take well, an attempt at uh, a Harrison Ford impression? I'm good. No? Anyone know? <laughs> it belongs okay, to you, the museum. You brought it up, so now you have to do it. Well, I'm asking you that. Yeah, yeah but you, 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 you're the one who's like, yo, who has it? So I feel yeah, like you yeah. kind of have it like tucked away. Do you're, it. Like, ready to go. No, I don't got one. Yes. Like, oh, come on. No. Uh, <laughs> Just say it belongs in a museum. Yep. <laughs> yeah, do it. Come on. Museum. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Do it again. One more time. No, you go. Your turn. I got nothing. Your turn. I'm a chick. I do can't it. do anything. Yes, you can. No, that is sexy. Oh you, can, yeah. <laughs> you can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah. Uh, Harrison Ford is not one of them. <laughs> He's going to pull out a gun and shoot a guy with a sword. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. I can do that. That I can do. <laughs> Belongs in a museum. Hey, that's that's, that's all I got. Well done. Yeah. Um, for my pick, uh, again, I, as I mentioned, I went with the basics. I went with the Aliens. Nice. 1986, uh, of course, Sigourney. As yeah. I mentioned, is one of my favorite actresses. Oh, yeah. Total um, pro. Yeah. Uh, you know, they moved from like a more of a horror setting in the original Alien to more of an action. Uh, yeah. It's got Bill Paxton, who's been killed by an alien, <laughs> a predator, and a Terminator. So I guess he's got the holy trinity of that. He, he does. He's, uh, I, I don't know if that's a great thing to have the holy trinity of. but Yeah, uh, like. Yeah, well, I, I feel like that's like a win, though. Like how many people could say that they've been killed yeah. by all like three big sci-fi yeah right like, like but, so at least there and dies and everything yeah does she oh I, I yeah you watched that video and it was like stuff she's in she dies yeah yeah, yeah. Was, sorry off topic <laughs> um no it's one of my favorites uh you know that uh sci-fi universe you know they brought in atar giger to help design uh yeah. you know the xenomorphs um you know great visual style uh I, I like the reason why I pick Aliens over Alien is like Alien has almost a little bit too of a slow burn at the start. It's like Alien is very 70s sci fi, yeah. which were more kind of slow paced and uh, ponderous, I guess. But uh, no, Aliens, fantastic story. 
you know, you got someone fighting in power armor against a giant alien queen. Like, I, I don't know what else you want from from sci-fi. Yeah, like that's almost like top tier. That no, that's not almost. It is top tier sci-fi yeah. for sure. All right, uh, uh, I'm waiting for you to bring up the sales pitch, James Cameron's. Oh yeah, yeah, you James can't mentioned aliens without telling yeah, a story. Yeah, so apparently, uh, <laughs> when James Cameron went to pitch aliens, uh, he had like a blackboard or a whiteboard behind him, and he wrote alien. And then he put an S and then put dollar sign symbols through it. And everyone was like, yes, because money, money yeah. is good. That, that's, and that's how you pitch a movie. Yep. Apparently. <laughs> Helps it if you're James Cameron. Though. Well, yeah. a little, little yeah. bit. It's just a smidge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess it's me. Hey? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with another Schwarzenegger uh, vehicle. He's, he was in a lot of really good sci-fi movies. I didn't he realize. Was, yeah. He's like Terminator series. It's oh, not, yeah. yeah. not my pick. But those were amazing. Uh, Running Man. Running Man is good. Oh, I forgot about Running Man. That was Man. actually a Stephen, Stephen King. King novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Predator. Oh. Predator, yeah. Going Predator. That oh. is my pick. Yep. That's a classic. It um, is, Apparently, the story, like the idea for the story, came from guys like at the bar thinking how funny it would be if Rocky and E.T. got into a fight. Yep. <laughs> and then it just went from there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Like, hey, like, hey, don't be cool if Rocky kicked the crap out of E.T. <laughs> E.T.'s small, man. He doesn't. Yeah. yeah, like he had no chance. <laughs> yeah, I'd say like maybe e. pick a bigger just, alien to e. pick a fight with. Yeah. Literally just be like E.T. phone home and then yeah, Rocky just, just like just knock him out. Yo, Adrian. <laughs> Just like break his nose. I, oh, does, does ET have a nose? I don't know. But either way, yeah. come on. You can't, uh, you can't do ET like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Man, I was want to bully ET. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I have to admit this about ET. The uh, shot where uh, Elliot first finds him in like the the uh, shed or whatever that that scared me when I was a kid. Where he goes, Aah! oh yeah, yeah. He's just he starts flipping out. Yeah, he's like just kind of. Spurgin out, yeah. That so I, I, mean, I, I, I could oh, see yeah, like, someone giving an ET a little love tap. Oh, yeah, for sure. well, for that. If, yeah. If you don't see it coming, for yeah, it's like a reflex. Yeah. Yeah, that's with anything though. Like you spook anybody in a certain way, like the first thing they're gonna. It just happens to be Rocky in this case. <laughs> yeah. He's hiding in the wrong shed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on. Uh, I could talk about that all day. Uh, John Claude Van Damme yeah. played the original uh, Predator. Yeah, it was originally the guy in the suit. Yeah, there's there's definitely a YouTube footage of it where he's just like he look kind of looks like a grasshopper. Yeah, he's just kind of running around. I guess he just got too uh, difficult to work with. So you're like, yeah, we got eighty sixes, dude. How do I not know this stuff? <laughs> like I like everything you're saying right now. My brain is like just popping off. Like what? Because Predator is amazing. Yes, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It is. He also killed Bill Paxton. Yes, he did. <laughs> Damn right, did. <laughs> Sorry, Bill Paxton. <laughs> yeah, uh, the blood, the green neon blood, was made of uh, the innards of glow sticks and KY jelly. I okay, I, I, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I knew yeah. the glow sticks, but the KY jelly. I got thicken yeah. it up. I, I, Maybe, yeah. yeah, okay. And that costume, the predator costume, weighed two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds? Imagine yeah. wearing that in a jungle. Yeah, they had to like tether the guy to like. Obviously, oh, I would hope so. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And, and the, the dude who played the Predator, I can't remember his name, but he was massive. I think he was like seven feet. Oh, yeah. well, you, you would have to be. 200 pounds. And then, like, giving that to, like, a, a guy your size, I don't think that would be oh, very I, well. I, I well, I mean, you'd minutes. want someone that looks kind of physically imposing to Arnold yeah. as well. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, like, definitely. Arnold's, like, like in Predator, too. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a huge slouch. guy. That's like, uh, you know, that meme where the him and Carl Weathers yeah. are, like... Yeah. Doing the doing mm. the thing, yeah, with huge muscles. Republicans, Democrats, and yeah. then something in the middle. <laughs> it's just the meme. Yeah. <laughs> Out of all the memes. Yeah, that, that came from the Predator. Yeah. That's crazy. Or I guess just Predator. Wow, I'm learning so much today, yeah. guys. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I love this. There we go. E.T., yeah. if you see him, punch him. <laughs> <laughs> End of the story. There you go. Rachel, who you got? Okay, sorry. I'm still a little stuck on the whole E.T. versus Rocky. Um, <laughs> this one, I think, doesn't get enough love. And I think it, like, definitely changed, like, aliens from, like, more of a comedic thing to more of a, like, a, a thriller horror thing. And that would be have to be um, Encounters of the Third Kind. Yes. 
Right. Nice, nice Spielberg. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. And it, it's like when Spielberg was also like in his prime too, right? Sure. So it was definitely a good yeah. movie. But he was putting out and like the mashed potato scene too. Like, yep, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's, that's classic. a classic. <laughs> I, I I remember the Simpsons doing the parody. Yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. going to say that. All I can see is Homer Simpson with his tongue kind of like somewhat hanging out of his mouth, his <laughs> yeah, sculpting his circus tent out of potatoes. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, no, like I feel like that one definitely doesn't get it, the love it deserves. I feel like it's one of those movies that definitely helped. Yeah. Sci-fi. It, it, it does seem to like not end up yeah. like on a lot of people's list, but it is like a classic. Yeah, definitely. and like the musical do new new new. I mean, like oh yeah, it like that's that was part of the everybody's psychology for a while. Oh, absolutely. I think it makes. I think it's uh, accurately uh, appreciated. Uh, like it's, I think it's regarded as one of the best of all time. I don't know. I don't know a lot of people who watched it. Yeah. Like to be honest, like I, well, I know. Do you remember what year yeah, well, it came no. out? Sorry? Do you remember the year? Oh, it was like 70s. 70s. It, like it, it feels like a 70s. Yeah. Like like I said, it's one of those 70s ponderous yeah. sci- sci-fi movies. There's which, a lot of turtle- Which are fine. Yeah. Which yeah. Are fine. There's a lot of turtlenecks. Yeah. It, so I, I assume the 70s. Late, yes. late 70s, early 80s. Yeah, I think. absolutely. Yeah. And then like the main guy was um, Hooper from Jaws. I can't remember. Yeah. Richard Dre- is it Richard Dreyfus? Yeah. Am I wrong on that? No, no, oh, okay. Wrong. Okay, cool. I suck at names, so I want to I was sure. getting him and Paul Newman mixed up. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> That's a, yeah, that's a weird one. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> the best I throw that in there. My second pick, uh, I had to do Back to the Future. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Is that who you had? Oh. That was my third. Oh, uh, no. That's okay. That's okay. I can okay. I can contribute. Okay. And, you, have, uh, you have a backup? <laughs> yeah, I got a backup. I got a backup. Back to the Future I did too. not think. I thought this was, I thought that was like a surefire. Like, no one's going to pick Back to the oh, Future. Oh, yeah. I won't, no way. I won't lie. Picking these movies, I was like, I'm so scared. Like, we're all going to have very the, similar I, picks. I kind of thought that. It's like, you know, because... You know, there are, there's like a classic sci-fi top yes. ten list, and absolutely. You know, I, I tried to go a little bit outside of that, but yeah, Back Same. to the Future, um, Zemeckis uh, directed, yep. uh, Michael J. Fox, yep. uh, Christopher, Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I can say about it. It's, it's well, a good cl- thing I did my research yeah. on Back to the Future. Oh my god! Uh, well, in, enlighten <laughs> us then. All right, I will do it. The SAS level in this room the is too high. The script was rejected 44 times. What? Like, well, originally in the script, apparently there was a time-traveling refrigerator. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. Uh, the time travel device was a refrigerator propelled by nuclear blast, which they actually make reference to in Indiana Jones and the uh, Crystal Skull. Oh, yeah. that. <laughs> Sorry to bring that movie up. So if you're sitting on a screenplay or a script and you've been told no 43 times, there's, yep. still, there's still hope. Yep. Hang in there. There's a little... Stay optimistic. Yep. 44 times. 44 rejections. I probably would have given up around 25. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but can you imagine if he gave up? We wouldn't have that movie. I know. So So thank you. There you go. There was actually, there were body kits made for DeLoreans to make them look like the time machine. Oh, yeah. So you could like slap in like a little flux capacitor. And, uh, I, I don't know how many people owned DeLoreans. I think Probably everybody who owns a DeLorean at that, this point have, has turned it into the time <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I mean, that's what I would do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Apparently they're wi- they were like wildly dangerous. They would just crumple upon impact. Yeah. I could but be they, wrong. They were not that. a popular car no. like the, the DeLorean. No. But they look cool. Kind, kind of. of. <laughs> it's got the 80s going. So. Yeah, yeah they, they look cool because of Back to the Future, I think. Yeah. yeah, so like, if anything, the DeLorean like designers and stuff are sitting there like, thank God. Yeah. We, it's fine. Well, I mean, the, co- going- the company went under that yeah. designed oh. the DeLorean car, so. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> the creator of the, of the DeLorean was actually super stoked about having his car in oh, such absolutely. a popular movie. Yeah. It didn't pan out. But, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, um, actually, Eric Stoltz was a uh, yep Marty McFly. For there, a there's bit. Uh, footage online where they have uh, screenings with uh, Stoltz. Remind me again, Who? Eric Stoltz. Um, Pulp Fiction. He's the guy who shoves the syringe into Mila Wallace's or I guess Uma Thurman's chest. Oh, wearing the house coat. He was in a lot of '80s movies. Okay, it's kind of that Fair like. What was that group of like, like 80, the Rat Rat Pack? No. Yeah, well, he kind of. I, th- yeah. I think he kind of gets lumped in there. Yeah, like, basically, if you were in a John Hughes movie, that that yeah, right there. Okay, he fair enough. Got that yeah. label. <laughs> and, uh, apparently, he wouldn't break character. 
during <laughs> filming and would only respond to be called to being called Marty McFly. <laughs> He's one of those. Oh boy! It's like, dude, this, oh. this is a fun movie, man. You yeah. don't need to be that serious. Like, I could see, like, I don't know, like it, when it, Jim Carrey did it for Man on the Moon. Like, yeah, I get that. Oh yeah. The weird thing about me for Back to the Future is that Christopher Lloyd seems so old. In that movie, I don't know if it's, it's the white <laughs> hair, but he's not really that old, and yeah. he he now he's like in his seventies or eighties now. Like he seems more like that age. But yeah, definitely. Like he looks. He, he hasn't. I always thought of him as really. like an yeah. old actor, but he, he's not really. Yeah, it's like one of those like actually, <laughs> nope. Um, like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. You can yeah. tell. Okay, okay, he's kind of young ish. But and uh, Taxi, Taxi, the TV. Oh, so yeah. Stacks, he yeah, plays uh, Pastor Jim, I oh, think. Yeah. Danny DeVito's in that as well. Uh, that's clear. Yeah. yeah, that's like that a, great. Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman, yeah. Um, yeah, actually, a lot games. of people. Yeah, yeah well, like when I think Christopher Lloyd, Tony I also Danza. think of. Uh, was Tony, Tony, Tony Danza. Okay. Uh, it's sorry. <laughs> it's yeah. Rude. Yeah, just, well, that's. I'm a bad guy, so. I guess so. Uh, but no, I was going to so say. I know, I, you're going to be. <laughs> but how to. Go ahead. Don't raise your eyebrows at me. <laughs> no, we're, we're, I was going to say my favorite Martian me. was another one. Oh, yeah. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, that was, was uh, mid-90s. Uh, yeah. Yep. I always remember the gum scene, and it's uh, disturbing. Oh, hmm. Suburban Commando with Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Was I was one? frozen today. That was <laughs> Christopher Lloyd. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yep. Uh, oh, I forgot about Which that. I watched a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Uh, the, the creepy, like, eye scene doesn't creep me out so much more, but it definitely... Got a little traumatized me a little bit as a kid. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, when I talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get us back on track. Yeah, uh, Johnny Depp actually auditioned for the role of Marty McFly. What? Uh, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, picture Back to the Future, but without Michael J. Fox, and instead, the young Johnny Depp. I would I would be down for that, but like my problem is I'd watch it. Is like I I would think of like his, like. Pirates of the Caribbean, like <laughs> little, like you know that kind yeah. of stuff, and like obviously, like he hadn't done it yet, but like well, apparently, uh, speaking yeah. of depth, uh, they did like a. I haven't seen it, but there was like a Super Bowl commercial, and they did something with Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Tim, yeah. Uh, Timothy Shallot, I believe, is how you say his name, and Winona Ryder. It was like Edward Scissorhands' son. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. but apparently Edgar's, Depp wasn't in it. No, Edgar Scissorhands, I think. Okay, yeah, was the joke. Yeah, and then, they're like, "Oh, hey, Edgar!" It's like, wait a minute. I was kind of choked. Depp wasn't in it, but with all of the other drama surrounding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know if he's yeah. Is he, is he Tim Burton's trying to make it employable? happen. Employable. Yeah. yeah, Tim Burton's trying to get him as the next Gomez. Oh yeah, yeah, I could see that. I'm down for it. Hundred hmm. yeah. percent. Okay. And yeah, technically, yeah. he hasn't been taken off the Disney's like Pirates of the Caribbean series yet. They actually haven't spoken out about any of it. Yeah, like they haven't well, said whether he's like in it or a, not. I mean, they're probably, probably waiting for it to blow over at yeah. this yeah. point. Well, I mean, Amber Heard right now is getting like she's gotten so much like hate and stuff that like she actually shut off her Instagram comments and DMs because Ooh, she was getting no so doubt. much. Yeah. And like petitions for Warner Bros have like actually gotten through. And apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, they're actually thinking of removing her from Aquaman too. Ooh, that would be big. Yeah, I keep hearing like they're they're thinking about it, then they're they go back. On, I mean, he, if they can axe Johnny Depp from Fantastic Beasts, I think they can axe her from Aquaman too. And I'm sorry, nobody's going to Aquaman two to see Amber Heard. No, nope. it's it's Jason Momoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's all about the Obviously, Momoa, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and then yeah, she tried to she's trying to insert herself into the Marilyn Manson Me Too stuff, and it's just a mess. Know, yeah. Hollywood's a mess. In, in, internet Hollywood. Uh, definitely yeah. a mess. But, uh, Got anything uh, else for yeah. Back to one the Future? Last, one last I'm glad, thing. I'm glad one of us did research. <laughs> uh, well, it's not really related to the movie, but I guess it kind of is. But yeah, if you go on the old YouTubes, speaking of YouTube, yep. there's a video that proclaims that Back to the Future, and they provide oh. evidence. Oh, I know this. Pretty sure it's hit the mic. Um, it provides evidence that the Back to the Future movies predicted 9-11. That was from Dan, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. Nice. I watched it. It's wacky. They, <laughs> they present an interesting case. You, you know what? Like, a uh, guilty pleasure of mine is, like, whacked out conspiracy things. So I'll probably give, give that a watch. There, like, 
because you know, like at the mall, there's like two trees on the sign. Oh, the twin pines, yeah. Supposed to represent the twin towers. And, oh, they, they go into it. Yeah, it's, it I, is entertaining. Like it's, I said, that's one of my guilty pleasures. Like stuff about like UFOs and like oh, I'll, yeah. I'll watch it. I'd believe like none of it, but it's fascinating what these people put together. Yeah, just. A, a room full of red string connecting parts <laughs> of the room to each other. Yeah, it's like that meme. <laughs> but yeah, so that, uh, Back to the Future apparently predicted 9-11. Yeah. There's also a pretty good documentary yeah. out called Back in Time, which talks about yeah. like, the development of the movies oh, and everything. Cool. So uh, I think it's on Netflix. So if you're a Back to the Future fan, definitely give it a watch. Nice. Um, Over to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, remember you were trying for about a minute, yeah, and then we, just, we, we went off. <laughs> Nobody wanted to listen to me. Um, but no, actually, this one is a more recent one, and um, I believe I could be dead wrong on this. It was at least nominated, and I think it won an Oscar for its editing and its sound design, and that's Arrival. Yes. Arrival is good. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was I remember watching the whole thing, and I'm like, oh, this is a cool story, and then like the ending like hit. I'm not going to say anything, because I don't want to be yeah. that guy, but like... I remember sitting there just during the credits when, like, after all of it hit, and I was, like, just gobsmacked. I was, like, what? <laughs> like, it's just... great uh, high-concept sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, like, besides uh, Amy Adams and Jeremy Rem- Remmer? Renner? 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 Renner. My Hawkeye. bad. Hawkeye, yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, like, they did their performance was really well, too. Like, it was just, it, overall, it was a great movie. So if you're looking for something a little bit more modern, like, in sci-fi, definitely yeah. watch Arrival. I wasn't that blown away by the ending. What? But I think just because like so many people I knew had already seen the movie. So oh. like, oh man, wait yeah. for the ending. It's gonna oh. blow your mind. I'm so yeah. I'm that, like, that, that can that can ruin it for, yeah. for you. Like, See, if, like I had nobody do that. They was just kind of like this movie comes out, looks really interesting. Like my parents suggested it because like they're huge sci-fi people. That's where I got all of my taste in movies from. Yeah. And uh, I went and watched it. And then, like, afterwards, I called my mom. She's like, so? And I was like, I, I, I don't know. I'm blown away. I can't. I. Uh, she's like, yeah, that's exactly how I felt, too. <laughs> yeah, I walked into it with a whole bunch of hype already. Oh, like, see, that's pre-installed. what. Pre-installed. Yeah. yeah. No, and, like, so I'm not, I'm not, trying, to do, I'm not trying to do that here. But, like, I, it's definitely one of those movies. If you're a sci-fi person, you should probably watch it. Absolutely. For like, sure. Like the ending of uh, Planet of the Apes. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, you have, have you seen the original? Charlton Heston. Yeah, I may be young, but come on now. Yeah, not everyone's seen it. Definitely, yeah, that's true. That's true. You get to we got they to a certain ending. we got to a certain age in our household, and all the sci-fi came out. <laughs> nice. Remember, uh, I showed my buddy. Well, I'm not going to name anybody. Uh, I showed a friend uh, that movie. He had no idea what the movie was about. Oh <gasps> no! Like, he didn't know about the the ending. How can you not yeah, know about like it through like just quoted. osmosis? Like, like give it like that know, one last line. It's the mo- one of the most quoted lines in like pop yeah, culture. Blow it up. Yeah, I mean the Simpsons did. <laughs> like Simpsons everybody, yeah. but watching his reaction. Oh, that would have been priceless. Yeah. Like, we were, I don't know, we were probably like sixteen. You, you know that like gif of that? It's a black dog in a kitchen where it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was that. You can hey? just see it like its mind being blown what? in real yeah. time. He he did that. Like he yeah. was, he was on the couch, just kind of lying like on the side, just like. Watch your head. Yeah. <laughs> Am I in front of the camera again? So, yeah, we probably have about 20 seconds of Chris's head. <laughs> <laughs> Professional. Oh, that was great. We're trying, people. That's We're trying. crazy, though. Like, I, oh, I, it blew his mind. Oh, he almost I, melted. It was amazing. He almost yeah. melted? Oh, yeah. He, he was not even slow motion. Like That was his real-time reaction. It was like actual yeah. slow jaw drop and... Oh, I love that. You could that. see his nice. brain just trying to figure it out. It, it's great, though, when, like, people can discover something, like, yeah. y- you know, like, like I knew about the ending of Planet of the Apes, again, through kind of cultural osmosis. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. like, everybody knew that that end. Yeah, like, everyone, but, know, everyone knows Silent, uh, Soylent Green is people. Yeah. Yeah, like, and if you didn't Wait, know, what? well, surprised. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but, yeah, like, that. there's there's some movies out there where it's, like, they have such iconic lines and, like, iconic ends and, like, all that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, like, that's, like, Star Wars. Yeah, wait till you'll yeah. find out uh, that Darth Vader is Luke's father. I remember. Again, this is the second time you spoiled yeah. that for us on the show. Man, you are really that guy. <laughs> 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 but yeah like i remember like my dad was sitting there and he was so excited because we were like we're about to watch star wars we're about to find out the big reveal like me and my sister are sitting there like okay and then it happened and we were all like what like just yeah. lost our mm-hmm. minds and my dad's like ah it's a good day today is a good day yeah but what else can i ruin <laughs> don't don't ruin stuff don't, why you gotta be that guy? T- talk about you you've only done one movie so far right oh two he's done two he's well just, 
Well, Back he, to the Future. Yeah, I mean, both of us two and have and kind, half? both of us have kind of adopted Back to the Future. So yeah. Um, well, I can talk about my third. Yeah, I, I, um, can, I can do another one too if you want. Um, sure, go ahead. Uh, pie, as in like three point one four. Oh, I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah, not like American Pie. Mm, yeah. Pie. Uh, yeah, it's about a mathematician uh, in any film, black and white. If if a uh, I know black and white doesn't sit well with everybody. Yeah. So heads up there. I like it. Uh, Darren Aronofsky's first film of, um, we did The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke. He did oh, The yeah. Fountain with Hugh Jackman. He did Requiem for a Dream with a scene yep. near the end. That scene? If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look it I was going to make a hand gesture, but maybe I shouldn't. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was his first movie, but a mathematician who um, actually came out around the same time as Cube. Okay. So bring it full circle. Yep. Uh, yeah, but a mathematician who uh, suffers from these crazy headaches and he's trying to find patterns in nature to figure out the stock market. And he accidentally discovers a number that is actually the name of God. Okay. And a bunch of Hasidic Jews find out that he found out and they want that information. I know that, that's a weird synopsis, Cause, but yeah. that is, that, it is what it's But about. it's intriguing. <laughs> it's super, then, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they have to try to catch that. Yeah, a uh, huh. really good movie. Uh, if you're if you're into numbers and kind of mysteries inter intertwined, yep, highly highly recommend. Actually, that's that movie is the only reason I bought my first DVD player. Okay, and this is when like DVD players were like five hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. I saved my butt off to get that thing. Bought it from a bad boy. In a in a <laughs> Whitby, Ontario. Wow, going so back there. You can't yeah, for our Ontario friends. So yeah. you, you can talk to your you can talk about your one friend blowing his mind. Can't drop his name, but buying a DVD player from Bad Boy was. Well, I mean, DVD, they're, they're not yeah. around anymore. No, so. I know, but DVD players are still around. Oh, no, 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 ba Bad Boy. Oh, the okay, place. okay, my bad. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking I mean, about a friend that you bought yeah. it from. I was like, what? Oh, no, 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 it was, it was a, a furniture chain <laughs> okay, in Ontario. Well, yeah, no, the, I like. I remember. I didn't even live in Ontario. I remember seeing the commercials for it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a uh, Mel Lastman's. Uh, Mel Lastman. He, he was a uh, mayor of Toronto, and it was his son's, I think, franchise. Oh, okay. I mean, you might want to. You can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I yeah. think that's right. Yeah, yeah my it's, bad. It's a very '80s, '90s thing. Yeah. yeah. Oliver Jewelry still going strong. <laughs> if, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, that definitely that's all, intriguing. Yeah, 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 it was really good. Um, what did, um, that's, I think that's really all I got on that movie. Cool. There's no real crazy story. Uh, actually, uh, Darren Aronofsky went to Israel, and I think he worked in a vineyard oh. while writing this movie. Wild. Which sounds like a... Nice writing retreat, yeah. a little creative getaway. Yeah. Go to yeah. Israel, hang out that in a vineyard. Would be. It's probably a lot warmer than it is here. Yep. Yeah. Welcome they, to Canada. <laughs> yeah. uh, my third movie, I uh, went a little off list with District 9. Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's another classic. Um, okay. Rand Wilson? Is, it, is that right? I'm not sure. Sure. The main actor wasn't Rain. Uh, no. It was no, Seth, it was South director. African. Yeah. Um, Neil Blunt. Uh, that's probably wrong. I, I'm, I got it wrong. Is, sorry, you said Rain Wilson? Like from The like Office? Rian? Yeah, no, Rian. Oh, yeah. Rian Johnson. He did, he did a. Maybe, yeah. Did Chappie? Um, I thought it was Blunt Yeah. yeah. What the I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Sorry, I'm, I totally derailed. For some reason, Blonde Camp comes up with District 9 for me. I should have looked it up like I looked up other things. But yeah, I still like the movie. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sci-fi, uh, some body horror going on. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Like the special effects on that was like incredible. Yeah. Did uh, you ever see the uh, proof of concept for that? I think I have, yeah. yeah. If you haven't, look it up. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I liked it. I liked the story. Some cool special effects. Uh, mm -hmm. Hmm. Kind of a cliffhanger ending. Kind of hope they, like, I, I would like them for to go back and explore that kind of scenario. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely uh, some social commentary in there too. Yeah, it's it's heavy, oh, yeah. it's, especially South African so social yeah. commentary. Yeah, apartheid. And, definitely. Yeah, they definitely point a finger at that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's just a good movie overall too. Yeah. Like. Yeah. 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 It's a good one. But uh, yeah, that was that was number three for any like <sighs> picking these movies were. 
It was the, hard. There were so many great sci-fi ones, but yeah, I just want some that I want to highlight. Yeah. Um, I, I was, oh, well, was going to say, I want to do an honorable mention for Starship Troopers because yes. that's such a good one. Plus, like again, like yeah, the, social co- the social commentary in that one as well, like who's depo- disposable and who's not kind of thing. Yeah. I was like, whoa. I do recommend reading the Heinlein book, though. Yeah. Because the, it, it, they, oh, Verhoeven really did a departure. Like, he, I don't think he read the novel. Oh, no. <laughs> really. uh, but he wanted to do, like, the social commentary that he yeah. did. Um, I actually think that the novel is recommended reading for, like, uh, people, for, like, military officers. Oh, no way. Because it goes a really? lot into the psychology of, like, why people fight and things like that. That's really cool. Also, I, Heinlein is great, like, really classic sci-fi oh, yeah. author. I was classic. I was gonna kind of try to cheat and throw in a TV show. Go ahead. But I didn't, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. What is, okay? Yeah. I got it. We gotta know now. What is it? D Space Nine. Yes. Yes. Didn't even need to think about it. <laughs> I was even. I was even gonna kick out a movie just to put that in there. D yeah. Space Nine. I mean, it's a fair one for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of people think Six it's the uh, like high point of like the '90s track. I'd. I would. I would agree with that. Yeah. Bald Cisco, Chef's Kiss. <laughs> Um, That's all I need to say. Did we all did we all do three? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we're even over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I did want to do I a special mention. Uh, yes. Kind of a weird thing I found on YouTube. Someone did a uh, audio version of a uh, George R. R. Martin novella that he published back in 1977 oh. called uh, Sand Kings. Uh, it's like oh. two and a half two and a half hours to listen to. It's pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, That's not bad at all. Fun thing about it, though, uh, back in the '90s, they did an Outer Limits two-parter. Oh, they that's cool. they adapted uh, Martin's story. So, if you're a fan of Game of Thrones and you're wondering about like George R. R. Martin's early stuff, uh, yeah, check it out. The Outer Limits has uh, Bo Bridges, Jeff Bridges' brother, yeah, and yeah. Lloyd Bridges, th- which is their father. Uh, oh, what? He, he's in it too. Paul that's Bridges. awesome. Yeah. Um, All the bridges. Yeah. Well, two thirds of the bridges. <laughs> uh, definitely filmed. It looks like it's filmed on the BC coast somewhere because there's shots mm. of ferries, oh, nice. and uh, I'm pretty sure it's a BC ferry. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure a lot of the Outer Limits was filmed in Canada. Really? That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, really it that. feels like a very Canadian production. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, X Files. Yeah. We can. We, Wait, we get, what? We can get. We can take credit for that. Yeah. Wait, X Files was filmed in Canada. Yeah, Vancouver, I think. Yeah. What or, or is wrong in, with me? How do I know? Stargate. Know Stargate. Yeah, Stargate. The... Yep. Uh, the Battlestar Galactica remake that they did, mm-hmm. that was filmed in BC. <sighs> kind of disappointed in myself. And also, Media Minute Roundtable. <laughs> what up? Right. Yeah, <laughs> right here, in North, <laughs> northern BC. Oh boy. Uh, so yeah, we're coming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyone else got anything they like to talk about? It's cold. It's cold. It's very cold. So my brain's not working. (laughs) That's all I got. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this edition of Media Minute Roundtable. Hey, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so we can produce uh, more episodes of this for you. I'm Michael Forward. Oh, and hop in on that comment section. Yes. (laughs) I'm Chris Raskowski. Tell us how much you love Chris's head, the back of his head. Yeah, right. Any more of this? Look at that. Look at that. We can bring you more more of that. More scalp? (laughs) I'm done. (laughs) And I'm just here. uh, (laughs) Rachel Edge. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bam, bam. bam. What's that?